Len. Uh, my name is Len Katzman. In the interest of time, I will dispense with my many titles and qualifications. Um, and I want to thank you for uh, granting us all uh, the right that we have for exercising your constitutional duty to allow us to petition the government for redress of grievances. Many have said here tonight that marriage is a civil right. Some have said it is not. Ladies and gentlemen, honorable members of the Judiciary Committee, there is no question marriage is a civil right. So says the United States Supreme Court. In 1888, for the first time in history, the United States Supreme Court referred to marriage as a right. Since that time, in over 14 cases, the United States Supreme Court has held that marriage is a fundamental civil right. A couple of examples. Skinner v. Oklahoma, we are dealing here with legislation which involves one of the basic civil rights of man, marriage. In the case of Loving v. Virginia, the freedom to marry has long been recognized as one of the vital personal rights. Also from that case, quote, under the Constitution, the freedom to marry or not marry resides with the individual and cannot be infringed by the state. So if marriage is a civil right, you cannot deny it to people based on an improper criteria such as the fact that they are gay. Since those cases, Romer v. Evans has recognized that gay people have, are entitled to recognition under the Constitution as full citizens. It's clear, marriage is a civil right. To deny it to gay people is unconstitutional. You can either lead on this issue and change the law and allow gay marriage, or the state of Rhode Island will be dragged kicking and screaming when the, when the uh, uh, Supreme Court eventually finally does declare that gay people have the right to marry. The choice is yours. Thank you, Mr. Katzman.